Hello guys and welcome back to another section of troubleshooting Linux administration. Our first video is handling users managing files. We're going to be looking at how user management work. But first, we need to look at the slash etc slash password. The slash etc slash password actually contains information about every user we create on the Linux system. If we could check our slide over here, we can see we have a command called less slash etc slash password. And you can see it is written here that this file contains information about the users on the system. And the next one we have is the slash etc slash shadow, which contains encrypted password. And the other file we have for groups, which is um, the slash etc slash group, we'll also be checking that on our Linux terminal. So to get a deep understanding of slash etc slash password and slash etc slash shadow and slash etc slash group, we're going to be looking at our Linux terminal. So let's go straight to our center where's over here and let's open our terminal. So after doing that, I'm just going to go into the root mode or our sudo mode. So to do that, I can just do sudo and su. Then after doing that, I'm going to type in my password and I need to just clear this. Now, to open this file, you make sure that you're a root user so to be a, uh, as you as you are the root user that means you have access to view this file and you have access to also view the slash etsy slash shadow file if you are not a root user you cannot view this file at all so to view this file we can use a cd for the slash slash cls and you can say cd slash etsy you now we are in the etsy directory and in this directory when we do ls we have multiple different types of files and different types of directory in this file so to to check our password file we need to just do cat with a password what we just do is we just type in name of the file and we can see over here we have the name of the user called um paul actually the name of our user which is my name my name is paul and to view this very very simple way on the terminal you can just do the cut command with a dash d after putting dash d you can just put with a dash f one followed by slash etsy slash password then you can see that this will list it for you instead of bringing it out with colon this will just list the names of every user or whatever file or whatever name that is inside the slash etsy file so the next one we're going to be checking this slash shadow file so to check the slash shadow file we're going to be going straight into the same slash etsy file we can do ls after doing ls we can just do cat with an etsy then after or we can just say cat or shadow and enter you can see that we have our shadow file with different types of name names that actually looks like the ones that we have in the slash etsy file or in the slash shadow file i mean all right we have the name of our user over here paul and this over here represent that this user actually has a password and what this actually means is that this different types of characters actually means ash they are in ash sign the reason why this is very important is because it contains sensitive information and what is the sensitive information we all know that um you need to understand like we check in our slide that etsy slash shadow file contains the user's password and that is why this characters actually cover up our password this ones over here actually represents the aspiration of the password for us the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be checking the group file so to do that we can just do cat with the name of the group and enter and we can see that we have our name over here and we have the name of some other names over here we have polls we have different types of names over here and we have poll over here which represent that poll is in a group or something so then to create a user we're going to be using a user ad this command actually gives us the privilege or the access to add a user to a slash etsy slash password file or the slash etsy slash shadow file so to add a user we just do add 
user the name of the user Sarah now we've added the user the next thing we're going to do is we're going to be checking the name of this user in the slash Etsy file so to check the name you can just do password and we can see that we have Sarah now let's check this name and the shadow file and you can see we have Sarah over here now the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be assigning a password for this user to assign a password you need to use a command called password and Sarah so to do that we can just do pass WD Sarah then after doing Sarah we just type in our enter so to put a password we can just do our password over here and that is our password now you can see that we have password all authentication tokens updated successfully now that we have a password for our user you can see that there's a difference between this user server and this user poll over here so now to check that we can just do cat name of our password file you can see that there are differences we can see that the boots look alike right now then we can check the shadow file you can see that we now have the same thing we have for the poll user and we have for the serial user the same hash sign for our password and the expiration date so if we can log out of this um, system let's close that let's close this let's log out this user or switch user when we click our switch user it's still coming up all right here we are you can see we have Paul and we have Sarah on the Sarah let's type in our password when I try to log in this will actually create like a new home for the Sarah user so that is how user management actually works I'm going to go right ahead and sign this in but I'm not going to be doing that the purpose of this video is just to show you how user management work how to add a user and how to add a password and where each user's password or file or account is being located